Hey, what is up, everyone? Hoax Gamer here. Welcome to Iron Man Road to Max episode 25. I am starting off this episode here at Port Serum buying feathers. I plan to do a lot of bar fishing since it does get up your agility at the same time. In this episode, I'm going to try to grind out 2k total. I personally dislike agility, but this is pretty cool that I just hit level 77 from just AFKing fishing. Hopefully, I can hit level 80 by the end of all this fishing because level 80 would be a pretty cool milestone. I decided to go do some woodcutting because it is more AFK than bar fishing. Don't worry, I'll go do bar fishing later in the future. But I did hit 96 woodcutting and also 1980 total. About to hit 97 woodcutting. There we go. That means two more levels till 99. Raids are coming out very soon, so the plan is to go get 2k total. Uh, so once I do get 2k total, um, I believe the chances of drops from raids are higher. Uh, so I'm gonna go train my thieving up and probably get to like 80 and then I'll do the rest uh, with construction because I do have a lot of planks in the bank and I really want to make that pool and the jewelry box but yeah that is the plan for now let's go get some thieving by doing blackjacking this is going a lot faster than I expected I already gained three levels and I'm now level 75 thieving I'm gonna go get to five more levels and then I'll go take a break from this and start construction Finally just hit 80 thieving. Honestly, that wasn't too bad. Uh, it didn't take as long as I expected. But yeah, that's nice. Let's go take a break from this and start the construction grind. I forgot to say this, but from 72 to 80 thieving, I made a total of 415k. Oh yeah, this was all from blackjacking. I didn't do anything else but blackjack. Uh, not too bad. Um, it's okay. If you're like a low-level Iron Man and you want to make some money, I guess this is a good way for you guys to do it. Um, also, for the planks, I have a bunch of mahogany logs, some teaks, and oak logs I'm going to go and make into planks soon. And I got 2.1k mahoganies. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be enough for 80 construction. Uh, before I go make planks, I'm going to go to miscellaneous to get my extra mahogany logs that I put inside the... Well, that I got the workers to uh, get for me. So let's go to miscellaneous, let's get those, and then let's start my construction grind. Okay, I'm going to check what's inside my miscellaneous right now. Let's uh, check how much money I got still. Uh, 4.6 mil. I'm going to add like a, uh, another mil to it. I think that's fine. Just add another mil in there. And then uh, let's see what we got to collect. And, uh, oh wow, almost 2k mahogany logs. A good amount of herbs. So that is really good I came here because I do need those logs for construction. Oh, 54 renars, 82 length of dime. Pretty good herbs. Not too bad. I thought I wasn't going to get at this much, but damn. All right, that's really good. Let's go to uh, start making these planks, and then uh, I'm going to get my construction up. Hopefully, I can get 80 out of all of my logs, but we'll see. I'm going to show you guys the method that I'm going to be using for making planks. I'm going to start off doing the oaks, and then I'm going to go to the teaks and finish off doing mahogany logs. So what, the way I'm doing it is in a PvP world. It's, it's kind of scary, though, because I hope I don't really go out... I'm not really risking that much, only have 200k cash and just have logs on me. But anyways, I go to my house, I call my servant, and then I give him the logs. Uh, I call servant, and then use the logs on him. And you pay him money to go to the sawmill. So how much? There we go, 6,000. And then we go to Camelot, and just keep repeating this process. My last logs that I have to do, this is honestly really annoying, but... Uh, I did get it done, finally. I ended up using like 20 mil in total, I think. Uh, which does suck. Well, actually, 19 mil. Yeah, that does suck. I use a lot of money on it. But at the end of the day, I am going to get 2k total. So, well, hopefully, uh, this will get me at least 80 at least eighty construction. If I do get 82, I can make the pool. So, it is uh, worth it. But that is nice. All that is completed. 27 mil in mahogany planks. Like, wow, that's a lot of planks right there. Just hit my first construction level in a long time. Now level 72, I'm 1990 total now, so there's only 10 more levels till 2k total. Really close, but still kind of far away. So yeah, um, right now I'm just finishing up all my oak logs, and then I'm going to go into, no, not oak logs, oak planks, my bad. And then I'm going to go into teak planks, and then I'll finish off with mahogany. Doing mahogany tables, I'm pretty sure it's like 500k XP an hour, which is insane. But yeah, I'll update you guys every like couple uh, levels. Okay, ends up that I was wrong. You can get up to 840k XP per hour making mahogany tables. 
That is really insane for a skill. And it won't take that long getting 99 construction, but the downfall of this is that it is really expensive. Anyways, I did hit 75 construction. That is nice. Just five more levels to go. There is 80 construction. This is a really cool milestone. I'm now only two levels away from 2k total. Wow, <laughs> this is going to be so cool once I do get it. So yeah, I just need two more levels. I definitely have them all right here. Uh, this should get me four more levels actually. So I'll be 84 construction. I'll be able to make the best pool and the best jewelry box. I cannot wait. I just need one more level till 2k total. That is really cool. I'm going to go grind out another construction level. It shouldn't take too long, but man, I cannot wait for this. Are you guys ready? I'm about to hit 2k total, just 266 XP off. This is actually insane. But here we go, let's remove this table and let's make another one real quick. And there we go, I'm now 2k total. I can finally log on the cool kids world. Uh, it's kind of cringe, but <laughs> alright, anyways, let's go to that world real quick. There we go, now logged on to a 2k world. That is awesome, honestly. This is awesome. I'm going to go explore it later on. Right now, I'm going to just finish up uh, all my construction. This should get me like another maybe two levels, hopefully. And then I'm going to boost for the, the best pool. 792 XP off, 84 construction. And there it is, 84 construction. Now I'm going to go boost and make the best pool and the best jewelry box. Just hit 82 Herblore. This is a really nice level because now I can boost 5 levels to make Anti-Venoms. I don't need these Anti-Venoms for Zora. I'm just using this to make the best Rejuvenation Pool. Finally done with all of the boosting. It wasn't that fun, but it was totally worth it. I got this jewelry box. You can teleport everywhere with all of the jewelries. Uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, we got the dual rings, game necklace, you name it. Everything in here. And also got a bunch of teleports, Varrock, Artie, wherever you want to go. And I have this rejuvenation pool to restore all your stats. Also have an altar so I can get those prayer gains. And last thing I got was a spirit tree. I can teleport literally everywhere in my house. This is a clip of my first ever raids on my Iron Man. Actually, my whole team was full of Iron Man, so shout out to all you guys. I did try to smite the boss here for a drop. Sadly, didn't get anything now this raid took us two hours to complete. It was a little bit time consuming, but it was still a lot of fun. Sadly, didn't get anything too special. We ended up just suiciding at the end so we can speed up this raid because it was obviously taking a little bit too long, but still was a lot of fun. There's a couple things that I dislike about raids. Um, if Iron Man are with other people raiding, we don't get drops from any of the boss. Even if we do a lot of damage, we won't get any of the drops which does suck, and also we cannot receive supplies from other people, so that also does suck. But anyways, still was a lot of fun. Uh, doing some Corporal Beast right now, let me just say, Rejuvenation Pool and a Jewelry Box is so good for Iron Man, well, anyone in general doing Corporal Beast, because you can go to your house, restore all your stats and spec, and then you can just teleport back to Corporal Beast right away. Uh, that is really helpful to have, uh, so I recommend all you guys doing Corp getting those. Um, it does take some time boosting and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, totally worth it. I just went for a couple kills and ended up leaving with 6 kill count. Uh, it's not the best, but, you know, it is something. I am going to grind out a lot of Corporal Beasts in the future. Right now, I want to go get some fishing levels so I can go finish my, uh, my one special video that I'm planning to make soon. Finally hit 96 fishing, just a couple levels left for 99. And I'm closing up on 140 mil total XP. That is a lot of XP. Damn, man, I'm such a nerd on this game, honestly. I play way too much of this, uh, but you know what? It is worth it because I'm making some good content for you guys. Well, hopefully you guys are liking the content. But I am through taking right now just to speed this up because I just want to get this done and over with. Well, that is it for the video. I just want to say a couple things before ending it off. Sorry it took so long to put this out. I've been trying my hardest, but... Man, it's so time consuming. As you guys see, I'm AFKing and uh, editing this video. I just gotta get this 99 fishing and woodcutting done so I can just do this one special video and then I can go back to Slayer and all that stuff and the videos should be a lot better and it should take not that much time to put them out. 
Also, I'm going to try to stream more often on Twitch. So if you want to come check them out, go to twitch.tv slash hoaxgamer. Follow me there if you want. Uh, there will also be a link in the description below to my Twitch channel. And also, if you want to support me, I have one Patreon supporter right now by the name of CyberFluffy. So shout out to you. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, if you want to support me on uh, Patreon, if you don't know what Patreon is, by the way, it's a way to support YouTube creators. Now, you don't have to support me. Um, I'm just like, if you want. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching till the end of the video. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, smash the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more content.